everyone, it's Christian here from Solitech Solutions. In this video I'm going to show you how to separate mechanical and electrical parts on the bill of materials in SolidWorks Electrical. It's a pretty common question that I get from customers, um, so I'm trying to show you this in this video. If we go and um, generate a bill of materials from this project that I've already created, I will show you first how the default bill of material looks like and what SolidWorks Electrical does is it nicely separates the um, or nicely separates it bill of materials by manufacturer because that's where we sorted it on. Now if we want to separate mechanical parts from the electrical parts as you can see down here for instance I've got this motor um, over here in my project or a pump what we have to do first is we have to set up a data field that we can filter on. So what I mean by that is if I right click on this component, go to its symbol properties, left click manufacturer parts and circuits, select the manufacturer part over here and click edit. Now, as you might be aware, um, SolidWorks Electrical is completely customizable. So we've got like, I think 20 user data fields that we can add our own data to. So what I will do here is I will customize this and my user data one, I'm gonna change that to mechanical yes or no. Now notice that now my user data over here has changed to mechanical yes or no, and I'm gonna type in yes. Now you do this with your components that are actually mechanical. I would like to update the catalog so that I don't have to do this again if I'm gonna use this, pro this part. Now I'm gonna click on okay. The reason that I'm only doing it for the mechanical parts is there are always only a few mechanical parts in there, but there are a lot of electrical parts, of course. So we wanna do the least amount of work. So I'm only gonna say yes for the mechanical parts. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to create a bill of material template. To do that, we drop down configuration and we go to report templates over here. Now to make this video a little bit shorter, I've already created one. But what I usually do is I right click on the report that I want and I just duplicate it. Okay, so I've already done that over here. Once it's duplicated, you can then change the name, etc. It pretty much just creates a copy of the report. I do not recommend editing the existing templates in there. Um, just keep them as a backup. Now, double clicking over here, I just change the description like so. Now, the important thing comes over here with the sort and um, break data. What I do is I'm breaking on user data zero. So what you do is on the left hand side over here, you look for, for that field user data zero, which is over here. You select it and you click this arrow over here. Well, that means it's gonna sort or it's gonna break on that field. Now user data zero, in this case, we've changed that to mechanical yes or no. So what's going to do is it's gonna just create two separate bill of materials, one for mechanical, one for the electrical ones. Now that just means it's gonna put that in a separate table, but that doesn't mean that it's um, going to put it on a separate sheet. So to take that a step further, we can go to layout and we can say over here that we want one table per page. And what that does is it's actually creating one table, um, one for mechanical and the one for electrical on one page. You can see the other columns in here are still there. They are just used for sorting. So if I just get rid of the other one, which means that I'm just gonna sort on manufacture and I'm gonna break on that user data field. So I'm gonna create a new table. Now sometimes you have to swap them over. I might just do that. I might just put my user data on top and then sort on bill of material manufacturer. If I click on apply, and then on close, I've got my new bill of material report set up. Again, you only have to do this once. Now, 
go to reports, generate drawing. Notice that my bill of materials mechanical is already added to this project. Okay. If that's not the case, the first thing that you need to do is you need to click here on add. You can disregard this message. And what you want to do is you want to add your bill of material to the project. Okay, so the, the report that you just created, you just check it over here, and that means it's just going to add, be added to the project as a separate tab. Now I'm going to generate the drawing. I will just use the mechanical one over here. All right, so what do we have got? We've got one electrical bill of materials. As you can see, it's sorted by manufacturer. got another one over here again continue onwards with my electrical components and I've got my motor M1 which is the mechanical one now you can see here it, up here the table it's using the Y the yeah, for yes of course I can double click that and just change that to mechanical bill of materials if I want to now of course if you want for instance to have this air this heater element also added to your mechanical bill of materials what you need to do is you need to edit this manufacturer part just type in y next to the mechanical user the input field that we've created and regenerate the reports and it will be added to my mechanical bill of materials over here that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and um, thank you for watching